Hey fellow tennis nerds, welcome to another tennis nerd video. This time I wanted to talk about the Yonex Regna 98. It's a racket I've been testing now for a couple of weeks with various different string setups. Started with the Yonex Polytour Pro, then a Yonex Rexis Comfort and now a hybrid of Rexis and Element. Uh, with the element in the mains to get a bit more control and Rex's comfort in the crosses. This racket is very expensive, it's very um, limited edition. They only make a very few of these and it's the top team at Yonex that manufacture these rackets. So you're supposed to get premium quality control, best possible materials and so on. That's the big selling point. But what we care about is whether it plays well or not. Right, that's the most important part for any tennis nerd or any tennis player, how does the racket play? So that's what I really wanna cover here. Uh, the Regna is, is really nice looking, um, looks very premium, nice blacked out, some really cool details in the paint job. I really think that's, uh, that makes it stand out a little bit. Uh, most players that I try this frame with, they really love the paint job, uh, but it was a bit more uh, varied when it comes to the feel of the racket with different string setups. Uh, first hit for me was a complete honeymoon experience. I really loved it from, from the first hit. It just felt super connected to the tennis ball, great on volleys, one of the best serving rackets I've ever used. And uh, I was quickly kind of understanding why this racket is so special. Then the next session, I started feeling a little bit more of a, a jarring stiffness. Uh, I, well, I did sense that this racket strung with a full bit of poly might not be the great if you have any arm issues. Uh, it's a very crisp feeling racket, it's very connected to the tennis ball, as I said, so you, you do know where your shots are landing at all times, but it's also quite demanding. It, the sweet spot is small and you need to manage it uh, compared to the E-Zone or the V-Core 98, this one is more demanding for sure, feels stiffer, has a smaller sweet spot than those rackets. So I would say that the Regna 98, if you have the cash to spend on a very good racket and you're a high level player, then it could make sense. I think for lower level players, it doesn't make much sense to go for the Regna because it is a demanding frame, kind of like a pro player frame, a pro stock racket. It does have that really sweet, sweet spot, but it's not, uh, very forgiving, it's not a big sweet spot, you need to really be a good player to utilize the Regna 98 to its full potential. That's my opinion, I know other people uh, that have said that they really love the Regna, despite lower levels maybe, uh, but I tried it with a bunch of different players and they prefer the E-Zone and the V-Core over the Regna. They felt like the Regna with two different string setups was a little bit stiff, a little bit uh, had a smaller sweet spot, wasn't as forgiving and as powerful as they wanted. They felt like they could swing through the ball more easily with the, the ESO 98, which seemed to be the big winner in the various play tests I've done over uh, the last couple of weeks. I've, I've tried to add more and more players into my play tests, so it's not only my opinion, but it also, I also get a sense of what other players think of different levels and they're going from 3.5 up to 5.5, it seems that uh, the Regna is a little bit unforgiving. Uh, but it does look great, it does feel very, very good on impact. It's not plush, it's more of a stiffer response, but it does give you extra power uh, I, when you hit the ball in the sweet spot, especially on serve, it comes through the air so quickly. I really loved it on serve and volley. Uh, it's one of my favorite frames for serve and volley play. And that's where I, I used it to the most uh, you know, effectiveness. I was really feeling that this frame worked extremely well for a, a kind of a, an aggressive player, serve and volley, get to the net quickly, a little bit too demanding to hang around the baseline and play all day. So I think this, this frame, if you look at the construction of this frame, how it looks, the, the mold, uh, it, it's kind of a, a racket that's in between the E-Zone and the V-Core Pro. That's where I would put it, uh, or kind of like, a, it's, it's some it's a control oriented frame, but with a bit more stiffness that the, the more V core E zone rackets provide. So you kind of find it in the middle, which is an interesting place for a frame like this. The issue is maybe that you shouldn't pay, have to pay all that money. I understand if it's a limited edition thing, this happens in all industries, if it's a limited edition, they put their best guys on manufacturing these frames, that's what they claim. I don't know what's true or not, of course, 
but that's what they claim and um, then you get higher quality control uh, you would think but my friend he had uh, two rackets the Regnas and he got them seven grams apart so might not be that it's that part of the quality control that's the best but perhaps in other areas of manufacturing they do deliver better quality control I can really only speak for the frame I'm trying uh, and that was pretty much spot on uh, feels and plays really really nicely but it's quite demanding and that's why it's not a kind of a switcheroo for me also with my my kind of sensitive arm but it is a very very nice frame and it, it deserves some hype maybe not all the hype maybe not the highest price point but i would love to see this racket and its mold as a kind of a regular feature in the onyx lineup of frames somewhere in the between the v core pro and the e-zone i think this has a definite spot so i think it's definitely a good racket I think some players will love it, some players won't like it. Uh, in my playtests, uh, the other guys were not convinced about the Regna. I was probably the one that liked it the most, um, which was a little bit surprising. But I think, um, I think there's a target group, aggressive players, advanced players, uh, that hits maybe a little bit more flat, more kind of want to play with the V Core Pro line. Uh, but also want a bit more power than the Vico Pro line, then the Regna is right there and it's, it's a good frame. Uh, I wouldn't easily recommend to spend all that money on it uh, unless you really want the, the design and, and just the kind of uh, elusiveness of having a rare frame that's, that's not made in big numbers. Uh, but otherwise it's, it's quite costly for what you get when there are many good Yonex frames uh, that's on the retail market goes for kind of half uh, almost like the ESO 98 is almost half price to this so uh, that's my opinion the ESO 98 is easier to use this one feels a bit better when it comes to touch shots I, I can't lie about that this one is, is very very nice on volleys touch shots and serves ground strokes you need to um, need to have a bit of a bigger game to utilize this to its fullest potential it's a little bit stiff in the string bed so if you have any arm issues stay away uh, but for players that don't have that and like to attack the ball have a big serve they should definitely try the Regna. Problem is that it's very rare and quite expensive, so it's not that easy to try, and I don't think they offer it on demo. So uh, that's the issue with it. I do think it deserves to be around because it's a very nice frame, but I would love to see it as a part of the regular lineup, not as a kind of super exclusive model. Uh, I think that would make more sense, but uh, I don't really know how, they, how, it, how much it costs compared to the other rackets to manufacture because of they put the best team on it and so on, and it's very limited but um, I have an understanding that that costs more money, so that's the case, but I don't see a huge demographic for this racket, which makes sense that they don't make it in mass producing numbers. Not a bad racket, it's a very nice one, but it's, it's not easy to use, and um, it might be a bit steep for, bit steep uh, as a price. I would love to try the 100, I don't think that's uh, maybe possible, but um, the 100 could possibly be a little bit more forgiving for uh, for players 4.0, 4.5 to use it uh, for sure. I think that could be the case. But um, Yonex make great rackets. The E-Zone is, is fantastic in my opinion in many ways. V-Core is more better for spin players. Um, but this one kind of lands in the middle with a stiffer, more connected, crisper feel. And I, I hope that makes sense. I hope you got an idea of how, how the Regna 98 plays. I was very uh, happy to try it. Um, gonna now send it back to Japan, I think. Or and, um, and thanks to Yonex for sending me the demo. Fun play test and uh, interesting frame. If you have any experience with the Regna 98 or 100, please comment below. I'm keen to see what other people think about this rare, interesting frame. That's it for this tennis nerd review. I hope you found it useful and it helps you guide you in your racket choices. Uh, please, if you need help finding a tennis racket that or a string or a customization that will work for your game, consider getting a Tennis Nerd consultation at tennisnerd.net. Uh, if you want more content, if you want to know about rackets like the Regna or other releases ahead of everyone else, you want a message function, you want uh, kind of all of the good stuff of being a tennis nerd, you become a patron at patreon.com slash tennis nerd. Big thanks to all the patrons that support Tennis Nerd and I hope to make it all worth your while by releasing more and more interesting content. I think that's about it for this one. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.